Most of our lead poison cases come to us because the cities and the states where they live in require lead testing for children up through age five, which is really the period in which children are most susceptible to the dangers of lead. Testing is mandatory. And when a test comes back positive, it has to be reported to the Department of Health, no matter where you are. And the premises where you're at, or the source of the lead exposure, has to be taken care of. And it's that point in time when people really know that their kids have been lead poisoned. When we represent a lead poisoned child, we bring a lot of expertise to bear, a lot of experience to bear, and a lot of resources to bear. We not only analyze how much lead that they've been exposed to, but we have a thorough evaluation of the children to see what neurocognitive deficits they have, what type of brain damage is present. We bring in testing to evaluate what are the difficulties that they're gonna have later on in life. As parents, we all worry about what's gonna happen to them in the future after the lawsuit is over. And so what we do is we project the needs that they're going to have because of these disabilities and the cost that it's going to take in order to find them the special help that they're going to need throughout their lives. We work with economists, we work with behavioral psychologists, we work with neuropsychologists in order to make sure that these kids are taken care of.